All right, Q, progress report brings us to second year Eagle. Alshon Jeffrey made his return to the lineup, and boy, did he have a, a beautiful day out here catching the ball. Carson was certainly happy to see him. Eight catches on nine targets, including his first touchdown of the season. Let's walk through some of the uh, successful plays Alshon was able to have. And the real progress, I think, is just that he's healthy. And with him in the lineup, it makes this offense go a little bit better. Even when you're in press coverage, he's strong enough to fight people off. And that's one of the things that you'll see reoccurring. Him fighting people off, getting his hands off, and even in tight spots. This is a dime. You can't throw it any better than that over the outside shoulder. He reaches out, catches the football, and, and keeps his offense moving. Yeah, nice job here. They want to try to press coverage him up here as well. He does a great job of getting off the bumper run, creating a little separation. And then I like the timing here between he and Carson. Well, I think all game long, he got a lot of this. A lot of people pressing him at the line of scrimmage, but he's able to release sometimes without getting hands on him. But watch how he fights at the top of the route. Gets the hands off. Creates a little bit of separation, enough space for Carson to fit the football in. This is what I like about him. He's always contested because he's not going to outrun people, right. but he has that ability, like a rebounder, to position himself to get the football. Watching here, getting down here close to the red zone. You got Malcolm Butler up there wanting to play press coverage, wants yeah. to be physical with him. But this is the good thing about having Alshon in the lineup. Press coverage doesn't matter to him. He doesn't need a lot of space. We talk about that that security blanket that Carson likes. Yep. Just throws the ball to that back shoulder. Alshon uses that big body to go up and catch it. Here. And if you go back to the start, like, watch how well this jam is. He gets two hands on the right hit, boom. That's a good jam. Well, look at the swim technique. He swats him off and starts, once he gets level with him right there, he's got it. So it's either over the top, or even if it's a back shoulder, he's able to make the adjustment and keep the offense moving. That's what he brings, a lot of that to the offense. Yeah, it's great to see 17 back in the lineup again, down here in the red zone. Talk about that timing. Now, Alshon missed a couple practices last week with, yep. with, with an illness, so you kind of concern yourself as to whether or not he and Carson have had enough time to practice but you watch him out there against the Titans, and these guys pick right back up where they left off last year. Well, he was Carson's favorite target last season, and he runs a little post corner here, and I like the timing, the anticipation. He understands. He presses him to the inside on the post portion of this route, and he gets that cornerback turned. Once he get him turned, he knows that he's got him, so Carson can let the football go into an area, and, of course, Alshon has a big catch radius. He goes up and he makes the catch for a touchdown. Every time he catches the ball, it's always, it always seems to be his body is between the defender and the football, which makes it difficult to have interceptions. I believe that's a big reason why Carson loves throwing him the ball, because he can trust that even if he doesn't catch it, yep. no one else is going to catch it. You got it. Great progress having Alshon Jeffrey back in the lineup. Look for even bigger things as the season continues.